has a short URL and the code if you want that as well. So we definitely, I'll say it again, we want you to connect with us. Um, we are very active at YouTube, so we love to share tips and things going on in the classroom and interview teachers and things, great things that students are doing. So follow us there. Um, definitely Microsoft if you're not following them already. And these are some of our favorite hashtags as well. So you can find us on Twitter there. So, uh, we are just a little passionate about accessibility. Both of us have uh, kiddos of our own who are really So, um, just going and learning, being in the pictures with them has really made us love these tools that we're going to show you today. Um, and as teachers, we have students to come into our classrooms with disabilities that are visible, that we can see, and also in the so students come in with visual needs, hearing needs, cognitive needs, ability to know, and um, we need tools to help you actually find that stuff. Can you tell me where you can help us so in our classroom, 73% uh, of students have reading levels of four or more grades. So even that is difficult as a teacher trying to accommodate students who are four different reading levels apart. Uh, 73% of the classrooms have special reading students and the learners. So 50% of the instruction time could be lost just managing student needs. And we see that every day. So we applaud for um, managing those needs. So we can use tools that will help. Microsoft Learning Tools are available all the way across the platform. They have it in OneNote, Word, Outlook, and in Good Things. So it is amazing to see everything that you can do for Yeah, we 
device or a Kindle Fuse, uh, a school device, take a picture of it and it will read the document to your students. Or, if you do have devices, you can send it to students like this, or Word, or OneDrive, and it will read from there as well. <laughs>